Hello viewers, how are you? Hope you're fine. Like I used to say, sanity is almost losing its weight in our space. A whole lot of things are filled with insanity these days. Perhaps the battle between sanity and insanity has been for ages. The invention of social media is what makes it very paramount these days. And when I mean social media, I mean social media has given it a whole lot of exposure. Exposing different type of abnormalities in our society and our environment. I started a brief display of madness in our space, especially in our society, using different headlines that are published on a daily basis. So there we continue with the same headlines to tell you what is happening in our space and society. Judging by what is happening in our society this day, you will discover that the food of Christ has increased tremendously. A lot of people are still earning 18,000, 30,000, what about 25,000 in minimum wage in Nigeria? How they expected to cope in this type of ash economy? I don't seem to understand. Though I believe that these are avenues that promote corruption in our space, but let's not go into that today. I just want to show you the headline of the person. This headline says, Nigerian lady who bought bag of rice at lower price finds out its new cost in the market three weeks after. Apparently, a Nigerian lady who went to the market to get a bag of rice for 65,000 naira eventually find out that the price has skyrocketed. In the clip, the lady who was visibly unhappy by the news disclosed that the price changed to 85,000 naira within three weeks. Is this surprising? No, it is not. That's an area we currently live in. And we've been coping with this for only God knows. If you are on the verge of just telling your girlfriend that you need a break, and you have not really made up your mind that you want, actually want the break, I think you should think it twice before spilling out the words. So that your case will not be like the case of this guy. So this headline says, It gave me space in the name of taking a break in the relationship. And I got married. Nigerian lady reviewed. Let me read the first paragraph. A Nigerian lady has taken to social media to share a story of how she married someone else after her boyfriend demanded a break from their relationship. So if you're not sure, if you're not sure that you actually want to cut off things with her, perhaps you should think twice before you say you need a break. That goes for the female gender too. If you know you are not ready, to start a new relationship or you are not ready to let him off your hook. Do not just peel out these words so that your case will not be like the case of this guy whose girlfriend got married. But a lot of people will come and, and attack her that perhaps she has been dating the person she got married to. Perhaps, I don't know. One of the madness in our space. I've watched this in movies several years. I've seen it happen in reality. But this one really baffles me. Can you imagine? This headline really, really baffled me. This lady came and said, Age doesn't matter. His parents are fine with it. And it doesn't hurt like 16, though. 26 years old woman, right as she show off 16 years old boyfriend. I'm sure if they had four years to her age when this young guy was born, she would be able to give birth to this guy. Well, just 10 years difference anyway. So, Perhaps that's love these days. Uh, a lot of people will call this madness. Why? Because they are not used to it. Right from outset. The president has shown us that most of the relationship we had, we had in the past, most of the relationship that we experienced from people, uh, oftentimes the guys are always older than the lady. Even if it's just two years or some months or some days, or they are almost peer um, at the same age. But I was thinking maybe if the guy is two years lesser or one year lesser or five years lesser, uh, but when it gets to 10 years, 15 years sometimes, uh, they begin to label the lady as a sugar man. Well, that's the way we live these days. You just have to bear with it. This one seems pathetic. The first time I saw this, then I was like, what was he looking for? You know, so this headline is, so this headline says, Mechanics sucked into engine and killed after he went to retrieve a tool near aircraft at international airport. Well, empathy to his family, 
I sympathize with them and I don't know what else to make out of this. Whether the plane was on, I don't even know whether how it got stuck into the aircraft. Uh, let me read the first part that perhaps this will throw more light into the story. A mechanic has been killed after he was sucked into a Boeing passenger jet engine at Shabaha Kunarak Airport in southern Iran. Hmm. I don't know. I didn't read further, but I think if you want to read further, you can just type this headline into Google search and then you'll see so many blogs that give the full contents of the story or the full story uh, as relating to this headline. A few days ago, I was telling someone, I don't like to rear dogs, especially the white ones, the likes of the people, Rottweiler, sometimes even Ossetian, all those different breeds, the Doberman and all sort of breed, police dogs and stuff. Why? Because animals will always be animals. Even we human beings, we are still trying to probably control ourselves and say how we can be of good behavior, not to not talk of rearing animals. There is this man whose face has been ripped off and destroyed just because he's rearing a dog. See the headline. Man uses ribs to rebuild his nose after it was ripped off by his dog. An aerospace engineer lost his nose when his dog attacked him and ripped it off while trying to save him from a seizure. He then undergo 10 reconstructive surgeries using bones from his ribs. You can even see the face. Uh, I will say this one looks like a monster. See this very handsome guy. See what happens to him eventually. I don't know whether... Let's move on. Madness in our space, like I used to say. A lot of people who know me personally will testify that I love to talk about religion. I don't know why. Probably because I'm well grounded in that field. I used to tell a lot of people who cares to listen. Religion is is a hoax. It's just a tool, an institution invented for control purposes. And if you say you are having a church, I will say how is business doing? Perhaps fine. Often time is fine. And the one thing that baffles me is just that the women who are often bashed more because religion is more of a sexist book. Most of the key men they are misogynist. These are people who actually hate the female gender. But what really bashed women the most, if you look at the institution, you will still find out that the women are the ones who are their customers most of the time. Let's not go into that. Let me show you this headline. How a man of God fainted after he heard that his close associate has opened a church. Mike Bamiloye. The In a recent uh, post on Facebook, Evangelist Mike Bamiloye recently encountered a story of a senior pastor who collapsed after learning his close associate and left to start a new church taking a significant part of the congregation with him. This incident revealed a recurring issue among ministry leaders who react, who react strongly to associate living, revealing underlying, underlying insecurities about their calling and leadership. Well, these are things that I used to tell people about. If church is all about saving soul, why do you need to bother that why would you even live in the first place except that person is backsliding like they used to use in the church? But why do you have to go with other congregations? Are you trying to save their soul away from the previous church where you also pastor as an associate? Associate in church, imagine. It's all business anyway, but that's what it has become these days. Before it was for control purposes so that we can have a very sane environment. But these days, it is obvious that it is more or less for business purposes. So this is where I'm going to be ending the madness today until I come your way next time, showing you some of the very funny, hilarious, dreadful, and sometimes unfunny headlines uh, relating to how people uh, behave, you know, live through their daily norms, and the one that or the ones that they have liberal norms these days, you know. Enjoy your day ahead, stay cool, and stay away from madness if you can. Take care.